Let's do a partial fraction for 10 over x minus 1 times x squared plus 9. So for the first factor on the denominator, we just have a linear factor, x minus 1. So to break down, we will have sum number a over x minus 1. That's the first one we know. And for the second factor, we have x squared plus 9. This is bad because we don't have a real solution for this quadratic e expression. Right, x squared plus 9. I have no solution for that. In such a situation, we're going to put down plus. The denominator will be just that, x squared plus 9. I can affect it out anyways. And for the numerator, because this is quadratic, the numerator, we are going to put down bx plus c. It has to be a linear. And this right here will be the setup. If you do this setup, then oh, that's correct, and then the work is going to be the simplest. Okay? Anyways, you see that here we have a over a linear factor, x minus 1. I can use cover up for a right away. Let's do that. So to solve for a, I can just look at the original expression and then cover up the x minus 1 and ask myself, how can I make x minus 1 equal to 0? And the answer for that is I need to plug in x is equal to 1. So I will cover this up and then plug in 1 into x right here. 1 squared plus 9, which is 10. I have 10 over 10, which is 1. a is equal to 1. But let me just write this down for you guys. For a value, I will just have 10 over plugging 1 to this x, so we have 1 squared plus 9. You see, on the top is 10, on the bottom is also 10, so we have 1. So we can solve for a right away with the cover up method, okay? And we just have to work out the b and the c. Unfortunately, there's no quick way to do it. What we can do is multiply this out by the common denominator. Well, if you don't like that, you can plug in easy values for x already. So we just have to go through the work. There's no such like a cover up method for um, like a irreducible quadratic factor. So perhaps let's multiply out uh, the denominator because I don't like to look at fractions. Multiply out this, right? Multiply everything by that. And this is going to give me, well, we know a is equal to 1 already. So I can put down 1. x minus 1 will cancel out with that. So we have 1 times x squared plus 9. And I have plus bx plus c times x minus 1. And once again, what's happening is we multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. And that's how we end up with this. All right. And if you don't like the one, you can get rid of that. No big deal, right? And what we can do now is plug in easy numbers. So just try to use 0 because 0 is like the easiest number, right? So if you plug in 0 into all the x, we have 10. This is going to be 0 plus 9 times 1, which is 9. Plus, if x is equal to 0, b is gone. We just have c times 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. So if you look at this equation, we are going to get um, subtract 9 on both sides. We have negative 1 plus, uh, it's equal to c times negative 1. Oh, maybe plus subtract 1 on, subtract 9 on both sides, we have 1. Right, subtract 9 on both sides, we have 1. And c times negative 1 is negative 1, c. So in other words, c is equal to negative 1. Okay? So we know that as well. c is equal to negative 1. All right, I use 0 already. And the next easiest number is 10 equal to 1. But we used it to solve for a. So I cannot use 1 anymore. Um, perhaps we can use negative 1. It's pretty simple as well, so let's do it. I'm going to say let x equal to negative 1, negative 1, and let's do that carefully. Look at this equation right here, plugging x equal to negative 1 into all the x. We have 10 equals to, um, the 1 doesn't matter, but the negative 1 squared, which is 1, 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus, b we don't know, but then b times x, x is equal to negative 1. So we have negative b. C we know is negative 1, right? So C we know already. So we can just have negative b minus 1. And then x is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1, which we have negative 2. So that's what we have. And let's just solve this really quickly. Minus 10 on both sides, we have 0 equals to, I can distribute the two, negative 2 right here. And I have... Um, 2b plus 2, and you can do this, do that, you get b is equal to negative 1 as well. So b is equal to negative 1. So altogether, 
that's the answer. You can just replace A with 1, B is equal to negative 1, and C is equal to negative 1. So to read this out loud, this is going to be 1 over x minus 1 plus negative x minus 1 over x squared plus 9. And that's it. Partial fractions.